In a peaceful animal kingdom lives Simba, a young lion cub, who has a strong desire to succeed his father Mufasa as king of the Pride Lands. He is eager to follow in his father's kind and most envied footsteps. Scar who is Mufasa's devious brother, has on the other hand, formed an alliance with the hyenas in an effort to seize control of the kingdom for himself. Scar manipulates the hyenas to generate a stampede of wildebeest and trap Simba in the center of it. His intention of killing the future king comes to a standstill when Mufasa goes and helps Simba, but it doesn't end there. Scar still continues with his ill plan to murder his brother. When he's done killing his brother, Scar manages to persuade Simba that he is too guilty for the death of Mufasa, and he instructs Simba to flee the kingdom. This paves the way for Scar to take his rightful place as king and frees the hyenas to eat and act in whatever way that pleases them. Today, we recap the animated film of 2019, The Lion King. In the opening scene, over the Pride Lands, the sun comes rises and all the animals from all over the kingdom go to Pride Rock. Everyone jolly and happy. King Mufasa and Queen Sarabi are happy that their cub Simba has been born. Meanwhile, Rafiki brings Simba in front of all the animals, and they all bow down to the new king in the making. A little mouse is running around his environment until he runs into Mufasa's jealous brother, Scar who is such a mean and cruel brother to the king and guess what, he wants to eat the mouse. Fortunately before Scar can eat him, Mufasa's hornbill chief of staff Sazu stops him and tells Scar that King Mufasa is coming to punish him for not being at Simba's birth ceremony. Sure enough, Mufasa comes to talk to his brother Scar right when Scar is trying to eat Sazu. Scar is upset that Mufasa's place on the throne won't go to him now that Simba has been born. Scar looks down on Mufasa and Zazu as they leave but, Mufasa is such a great king that won't mistreat his own brother. Much as he may have a very unusual opinion and priorities. Rafiki is by his tree, where he is using bugs to make a picture of Simba. After some time, Simba who is a young cub and is stubborn and social. Because he wants to go explore the Pride Lands, he wakes up his father and lets him know the sun is up and he better wake up. Mufasa tells Simba that everything in the Pride Lands is his, but they can't go anywhere outside the borders. He also tells his son that as a future king, it will be his job to keep the great circle of life going. Mufasa further tells Simba that a great king is one that looks for what to give than take from his people. Simba was left very puzzled but, before then, Zazu flies in to give the morning report and Mufasa shows Simba fascinating hunting skills to keep him satisfied. After a short while, Zazu tells Mufasa that he has seen hyenas and they seem to be up to something skeptical. Mufasa orders Simba to go to Sarabi and informs her. Scar is alone on his own little rock, so Simba goes to him. Well, it's not a bad idea to go to your own uncle. Just a little cub he is, he doesn't know that not every relative must be trusted. Scar starts his plot to have Simba killed, so he tells Simba that the area outside the Pride Lands is a graveyard for elephants and as the future king, he must go and explore how amazing of unique the site is. After that, Simba goes to find his best friend Nala, who is taking a bath and convinces her to go with him for a walk Sarabi forcefully gives Simba a bath before he tells Nala to accompany him. However, Sarabi makes the cubs take Zazu with them as a guardian. Simba tells Nala where they are really going as they walk Zazu sees them together and thinks it's cute to see two cubs who are in love with each other. This makes Simba and Nala feel gross, so they say they are just friends and Cold not imagine them being anything else more than that. Zazu says that these are the rules, and Simba says that when he becomes king, he will change some of them, I just can't wait to be king. Before they go to the elephant graveyard, the cubs lose Zazu among the other animals. Hyenas, Kamari and Aziza find them while they are exploring the elephant graveyard. Shensi is ready to eat them when she finds out who Simba is, even though Zazu flies in to tell her that doing so would make Mufasa angry and lead to a war. She tries to hurt them, but Zazu stops her long enough for Simba and Nala to escape. The group then gathers around the cubs. They seriously want to eat these little cubs. 
Frightened, Simba wants to roar at the hyenas, but all he can do is make small growls. A louder roar can be heard as they laugh and ask him to do it again. Mufasa comes in and fights off the hyenas. He then tells Shensi to stop or else he will get hurt. The hyenas run away, but Mufasa is mad at Simba as he takes him and Nala home. Mufasa has Sazu take Nala home while he talks to Simba. He tells him that he is disappointed in him, but Simba tries to defend himself by saying that he was trying to be brave like Mufasa. He tells his son that he is only brave when he needs to be, and that he was afraid of losing Simba. Then they sit down and look up at the stars. Mufasa tells Simba that the great kings of the past are looking down on them. The hyenas go back to where they live and complain that they don't have any food. Then it becomes clear that Scar is leading them. He led Simba and Nala on purpose to their path. He then tells the hyenas that he wants to kill Mufasa so that he can take over as leader of the Pride Lands, be prepared. This will also give the hyenas more food. Scar doesn't give up, he takes Simba to a gorge the next day so he can work on his roar. This is of course not what he wants, he simply wants to have Simba killed or better still, he plans to murder his brother, the king. Immediately they reached, he leaves Simba alone and further tells the hyenas to start attacking. When Simba looks up at the cliff, he sees a stampede of wild beast. He runs away and climbs a tree to get away from it. Meanwhile, Scar finds Mufasa and Zazu. Claiming to be a good brother, he tells Mufasa that Simba is stuck in the gorge, and he instructs Zazu to inform the lionesses so they could try to save the future king. Mufasa runs through the wildebeest herd to get to Simba. He brings the cub up to safety, but the wildebeest pulls him away. Then Mufasa starts to climb up the hill, but Scar catches him and puts his claws into Mufasa's paws. Scar tells Mufasa, long live the king, and then he knocks his brother off the cliff, before Mufasa dies. Simba can't do anything as his father gets caught up in the crowd. He runs down and finds Mufasa's body, begging him to wake up with tears in his eyes, unfortunately, Simba's father Mufasa the king is already dead. Scar finds Simba and tells him that his father's death is all his fault. Simba asked Scar what he should do because he was afraid of what would happen. Scar told him to run away and never come back. After Simba does this, Scar sends Shensi, Kamari, Azizi, and a hyena he doesn't know the name of to kill Simba. Simba runs faster than the hyenas until he gets to the edge of a cliff, where he and the fourth hyena both fall off. Shensi tells the other two to make sure Simba is dead, but they don't want to climb down and check because they think he couldn't have survived the fall. Before going on his journey, Simba is seen hiding. Scar tells the lionesses that Mufasa has died. He then tells them that Simba has also died and because of that he must assume the throne and sadly, he must take over not only the kingdom but also the queen. He pretends to be sad as he walks up to Pride Rock to take over as king, and then he brings out the hyenas. Zazu and Rafiki look on from afar as Mufasa and Simba are killed. Simba walks by himself for miles until he gets to a desert. He passes out from exhaustion just as a group of vultures come to try to eat him. Timon and Pumba, a meerkat and a warthog, come along and scare the vultures away so they can find Simba. At first they were afraid of the little lion but later, the two decide to keep the cub because they think that when he grows up, he will be on their side. Simba wakes up sad because he still thinks that he killed his father. Timon and Pumba take him in and show him how they live by their motto, Hakuna Matata, which means no worries Simba can't eat the other animals because they are his friends, so he eats bugs instead. He spends more time with Timon and Pumba, who are both getting older. Under Scar's rule, the hyenas are taking all the food and resources from the Pride Lands, so there isn't enough to go around. Nala is worried about the way things are going and doesn't seem to see how the future could be any better. Scar even tries to make Sarabi his queen by telling her they can eat together, but she says no. He then lets the hyenas eat the rest of his kill, 
which leaves the lionesses with just a few remains. Later that night, Nala tries to leave Pride Rock, but Zazu sees her. Zazu knows what Scar will do to her if he catches her leaving. So, he makes a distraction to make Scar and the hyenas chase him, which gives Nala a chance to get away. Simba, Taimon, and Pumba lay down to look at the stars after a day of eating bugs. Simba tells Taimon and Pumba that Mufasa told him that the kings of the past are looking down on them. This makes Taimon and Pumba think about what could be up there. Simba doesn't like how Taimon and Pumba just laugh it off. He goes somewhere to be alone, and as he lays down, some fur from his mane flies off. It gets blown away and passes through a couple of animals before it gets to Rafiki. He knows Simba is still alive, and this makes him happy. Taimon and Pumba are walking through their home and singing The Lion Sleeps Tonight when Nala attacks them and chases after them. As they run away, Simba jumps out and attacks Nala, but when she pins him down, he realizes who it is. Simba is happy to see his best friend again, and Nala is happy to hear that Simba is still alive. Taimon and Pumba realize that the two lions are becoming more than just friends when they see them go off together to catch up singing Can You Feel the Love Tonight? But Simba's happiness doesn't last long because Nala tells him that he needs to go back home because of what Scar and the hyenas did. He still feels bad, so he won't go back. When he gets too stubborn and won't listen to her, Nala leaves him. Simba gets lost and Rafiki looks for him until he finds him. He tells Simba that Mufasa is still alive and that he knows him. When Simba follows Rafiki, he ends up at a lake. Rafiki makes Simba look at his own reflection, and Mufasa appears in it. Up in the clouds, Simba hears and sees Mufasa's voice, and the lightning lights up his face. Mufasa knows that Simba has forgotten who he is and, by extension, who his father is. He reminds him that he is the only real king. Now that Simba knows what he needs to do, he runs off to find Nala, and Taimon and Pumba follow. When they get to the Pride Lands, they meet Zazu, who is also glad to see Simba. They can see how bad the land looks and why they must stop Scar right away. Simba uses Taimon and Pumba as a live bait to keep the hyenas away from Pride Rock and let him and his friends get there. Scar hurts Sarabi when she defies him again, and Simba sees it. Everyone is shocked when Simba comes back, and he goes to be with his mother. Scar tries to get back at him by getting Simba to say that he killed Mufasa. Scar moves towards Simba, which makes him trip and fall off of Pride Rock. When lightning strikes a tree nearby, it starts a fire below. Scar then brags to Simba about how good he looks, not realizing that he is admitting his own wrongdoing to the lionesses. Then he tells Simba that he killed Mufasa in a whisper, and Simba attacks his murderous uncle. Scar says he did it, but then he sends the hyenas to attack the lionesses, which starts a full-scale war. Hyenas and lions fight, and Taimon, Pumba, and Rafiki all get a few good hits in. Scar then tries to get away, but Simba goes after him. When Simba talks to him, Scar says that the hyenas did something wrong and that he was going to kill them for it. Scar begs Simba to forgive him, but Simba tells him to run away and never come back, just like he told Scar when he was a cub. Scar seems to agree, but he throws hot embers in Simba's face instead. The two then start to fight, swinging their claws at each other until Simba gets the upper hand and knocks Scar off the edge of the cliff. He makes it out alive and can see the hyenas coming toward him. Unluckily for him, the hyenas heard him throw them under the bus, so they attacked Scar and tore him to pieces. The fire is put out by the rain that falls on the Pride Lands. The lionesses gather around Pride Rock now that the hyenas are gone. Zazu and Rafiki make it possible for Simba to rise. He walks up to Pride Rock's edge and hears Mufasa say, Remember. So, he roars in front of the lionesses and becomes the new Lion King. The Pride Lands look and feel as good as they did when they were at their best. Taimon and Pumba have moved in to be near their friend. 
Simba and Nala are now king and queen, and Rafiki shows the other animals their new kabkiera. This keeps the circle of life going.